Davis is going back to the into ring. the ring after, after beating Frank Martin badly. We all saw how that one ended. Martin Davis fell asleep after Davis hit him with a scary left hook. Sleep. Oh, left hook uh, 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 Down goes Martin! Mamma mia! Six! That's not the last hey, thing we'll see from Tank this year. Yes, this knockout artist year. has another fight coming yep, up in this December. This time, though, it won't be easy for Tank Davis. He's going up against Teofimo Lopez. Yes, you read that right. Dante's Tank Davis vs. Teemo the Takeover to Lopez, two absolute monsters set to fight in what's shaping ring, up to be one of the most explosive fights we've ever. You know when these two step the into the ring, it's going to be pure fireworks. There's a lot to talk about with this one. It has all the drama, hype, and beef, so let's get right to it. How do we even get to this? There's been a lot of talk between these two about fighting for a while now, mostly on social media and in conversation. But here's the thing, Tank and Teofimo aren't just two Just guys two looking dudes. for dollars. This now, is much more this complicated is way deeper. than that. He's been catered more than I've been and pampered more than I've ever been. Boxing fans have talked about you and Ryan for a long, long time. I think more me and Tank will be than Ryan. I like facing the guys that beat the guy rather than the guy that lost to the guy. Ryan just kept literally lunging in and throwing the hooks. I mean, that was an easy read for Tank. I think that with myself and Tank, Oh, hell yeah, it's explosive, but I'm really going to outclass him. Talks about mind games and all that stuff, but this mind that I have here is just different. And he showed me that he doesn't really quite believe in himself. Because if a man believes in himself and his ability, he takes a fight against Vasily Lomachenko in 2016-2017. Gervonta Tank Davis has been on a rampage, taking out dudes left and right. Gervon Tank Davis has been on a rampage, taking out dudes left and right with 30 fights, 30 wins, and 28 knockouts. This man is out, here laying, this man is out here laying waste to everyone. Every time you watch Tank, you know someone's belts. about to get slept. But while he's been collecting belts, there's been that looming question. Power. What happens when he faces a guy who can match his speed his power? Hunger. And most importantly, Keyshawn his hunger Keen Davis was one of the first to point this out. Tank and Tio have the same fighting style, so what happens when these two go head to head in a hot pro bout? Guess we'll find that out in December well. The thing I'll tell, tell you is out. that someone's it's getting knocked out, it's only a who. matter of who. Statistically, they're the same fighter. The makeup is a little different, the size is a little different, but their boxing style, the way that they fight, is the exact same. Teofimo, Teofimo is, is no stranger to shocks. Success. I mean, this guy dethroned I mean, Vasil Lomachenko, the man most Lomachenko. people considered untouchable Lomachenko. Lopez. Didn't just, didn't just win, he destroyed he LMA in those early rounds. And let's, and let's be real, real, people still people don't give him still enough don't credit give for that him performance, for even that though he hit a rough patch. Losing to George Gambosa's TLO bounce back strong at 140, showing that he's still very much in his prime and ready for war. I'm June 5th at all these 135-pound pound guys in my division, they, they're quiet. They don't want to fight Team Fimo again because what he just did. And then I'm just going to keep putting it on each and every time. But we're going to make those fights happen too. But right now, I just my main focus is George Cambosa. Now and we've Lopez, got Davis and Lopez both at the top, both at the of, their top of their game ready, ready to, settle to settle the score now. in what could easily Let's be the fight of the year now. These Let's dive into how these two match up freakish. first. We've got Javante Davis. This every power round is freakish like no joke you could be winning every round. Tank. And all it takes is one shot from Tank. And it's lights out. It's a insane ability to close the distance. With this insane ability to close close the distance and land those signature uppercuts. And hooks and don't sleep on his ring IQ either. People always talk about his power, but Tank's timing and footwork are next level. He knows how to set traps and capitalize. This guy's no when his slouch. opponents make mistakes, but Teofimo Lopez, this guy's no slouch, is guy known is. for his speed and counterpunching. And if you've seen his fights, you know how slick this guy is. He can bait you and make you miss, and then fire back with these wicked combinations that do some serious damage. Don't damage. He's don't forget, forget, he's got knockout power, power too. Just, Just ask Richard Tommy about that right hand. Crazier, what makes this fight even crazy is that it's not the first time, time these two have faced off in the ring. Yep, Javante Davis, Davis and Teofimo Lopez have sparred before, before. and what went down might shock you. Tao actually had the upper hand walking him on the back and pushing him on the back foot while Davis was back up. Tio was giving out some serious shots. That sparring session showed just how real this rivalry is. This fight's going to be way Teofimo tighter Lopez, than most most expect, especially with Timo Lopez, now Canelo working Alvarez. alongside the legend himself, yep, Canelo Alvarez. Right. Yep, you heard right, the, the Mexican, Mexican superstar is in Tio's corner, helping him prep for this showdown, having Canelo in your hands, a real game share, and it's exactly the kind of boost exactly Tio needs to give him the edge in a fight this big.
So what's, what's really on the line, line here? First off, Legacy, this, this fight, fight is going to cement one of these guys as the new face of the sport. Javante is already a big star, but beating Tiafimo would take his name to the next level. We're talking about Floyd Mayweather type levels of fame for Tiafimo this day. Redemption after losing to Cambosos, a lot of people started doubting him. Some were saying he was a hype job. But if he takes out Tank, all of that stuff goes out the window. Tiafimo becomes the man again, and his stock will skyrocket. Then there's the impact on the divisions with Tank holding titles at lightweight. Moving up to 140 in Tau, having already established himself as junior welterweight this fight, could have ripple effects across a champ in the winner class, might not just be a champ in one weight class, but could possibly rule both 135 and 145. And 140. Think about that, Leonard Elbert. Putting it all Leonard on the line. Fine saying Tank Davis is taking that W against Teofimo Lopez. No question he's been repping tanks since day one and thinks no one can touch him. Sure, Teofimo is a beast, but LB's convinced Tank's power, speed, and fight smarts are just on another level. But LB's convinced Tank's power, speed, and fight smarts are just on another level. So, I mean, is that not, does that fight not no, make no, sense? No, no, he's a good, Teofimo on, on some real shit, he's a good fighter. He can't fuck with Tank, though. Can't fuck Can with Can we tank. see it? <laughs> can't fuck with Tank. <laughs> what, what do you make that? Ain't nobody fucking with Tank right now. Nobody. Nobody fucking nobody. with Tank right now. Tank is that dude. Yeah. Period. 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 You have to push him. Period. Right, right. But hey, but you hey, can't count out Teofimo just yet. There's, there's a reason, reason why he's been why calling out Tank for a while. Now Lopez, Lopez knows what's at stake and he's ready for this task. And he's okay. Look at our size. You don't care about rehydration then. Like, rehydration clauses. When you're the best, you don't care about any of that. You don't care about any of that. Do you knock people for doing that? No, that just lets me know they're intimidated. It's intimidation is a psych on their own mind. You think so? Cause I, think, I know, like, so Tank I'm a fighter. Put, but Tank put Ryan under rehydration. I don't know if Tank, I can't say Tank was like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, son. You got real fighters and then you got bitch fighters. That's all so that's all from today's, today's video. video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell like, icon so you never miss our future videos. And, so you and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned, and, and we will catch you in the next video.